Is it? I can't hear anything. No, it's not going to work. Ray, thank you, mate. It's not going to work, but thank you. I uh, have a quick break when I come back. There is a Dickin tribute song. Yeah, we're going to play a very quick Dickin tribute song uh, by Luke, by the way, in London. Uh, that's going to be out of the break when we come back. And when we come back, we'll also take your calls. No, it's 704-2020. Morning, I'm Mike Dickin. This is Talk Sport. You know what we're talking about. And there are other things we can talk about as well. Don't feel that it's exclusively about... Uh, the existence or otherwise of God or whether it's to do with the control of religion or the influence of religion and other factors related to religious belief. It took me 18 months to get my guns back. Really? Yeah, and I had to write to the chief constable in the end and say, charge me or return my guns because I consider that you've stolen them. Yeah. Um, Eventually, I was told I could go and collect them. Here's the best bit. When I went to collect them from the headquarters police station, a young policewoman of about 18 walked through a crowded police station where there were loads of people, not only policemen, but uh, you know, members of the public, were, with a gun under her arm, fully cocked. Joking. No. Well, I said, for Christ's sake, break that gun. The barrel, yeah. yeah. She said, I, I, I don't know how to. I nearly, well, let's say the laundry would have been busy. Well, Luke says, um, I thought I'd share with you one of my favourite Dickon moments. During the Clash of the Titans in 2001, after quite a lot of festive punch uh, was consumed, the debate of the year really heated up between James Whale, Tommy Boyd and Mike Dickon. In true angry style, Mike Dickon offered Tommy Boyd out for a fight. <laughs> That's right. And the two of them went tumbling out into the corridor, and Mike showed he was just as angry off the mic as he was on. All the name of great radio, of course. Mike was pretty much the first radio presenter I remember listening to as a child. It was him and Mr Whale who got me into radio. I'm 20 years old now, and I can't quite believe Mike has gone. Absolutely, and neither can, <coughs> neither can any of us here at Talksport. It really is a lot of sad My health's not in question. I've had enough of boys trying to agree with everybody and everything, never expressing an opinion of his own, and waiting for somebody else to tell him what his opinion is. I've had a gut full of this, and you can finish the solid program on your own. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I've had enough of you as well. Fight, 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 I'm sitting here, I'm watching it, but I don't believe what I'm looking at. Tommy Boyd and Mike Dickey have gone out of the studio, on the floor, come back in here and sit down. My house not in question. Now, either somebody is talking to me and I'm not understanding them, or there's some idiot in another studio somewhere within this building who doesn't know how to drive the machinery. And if there is, I've just had a gut full of it. Even learn how to use the machinery, I'll stay out of the blaster studio. You completely destroy my concentration. I can't think and I can't listen. Well, whatever is being recorded, if it never gets to air, because you won't understand the word of it. My wish to happen to is that everyone would surely see the light, but it's not that little more James is saying, and that we stop, um, and we do something to stop people uh, believing in this ridiculous nonsense about there being a God. There is no God, there never was, there never will be, and all this nonsense about worshipping this God, that God, or another God, there never has been, there never will be, and anybody that believes it is just a superstitious idiot. Regardless of what your point of view or what we have to say to each other, I thoroughly enjoy talking to you. And I shall thoroughly enjoy talking to you and with you when we should be talking about um, parking tickets. The chances are that in this country, if you've been issued with a parking ticket, there's a very good chance that it isn't legal. However, it'll still cost you a lot of cash unless you fight it. 
He must not give up. If you're not sure how to fight it, talk to Barry and Neil next week. They'll show you how to do it, and they'll give the success rate that they've had. A surprise on Saturday, but an even bigger surprise in a moment is Mike Mendoza on Talk Sport. Thank you, Mike. Uh, that's uh, tr- uh, Dick in Tribute by Luke in London. Well done. Thanks for putting that together for us. It's uh, absolutely brilliant. If you want to join in, it's 0704 20 20 20. You're very welcome to join in uh, the front page of the day and mail on Sunday. Hi, folks. It's Arise Bono.